it could be a case of an unstoppable force towards heading a force heading toward an immovable wall. The number of migrants marching north towards the U.S. is growing and the Trump administration is vowing to keep them out. John Lawrence has our story. More than 7,000 migrants keep pushing north toward the U.S., fighting fatigue during the day, sleeping on the ground at night. They say they hope for a better future. There isn't any work here, she says. We have nothing to live on. Brian Covadrelles spent most of his life in Texas until he was deported to Honduras a few weeks ago. He's walking back to reunite with his three-year-old daughter. She's, she's the one who actually needs me the most, you know, so... And I don't want her to grow without me. The caravan is over 1,000 miles away from the U.S., and things could get more difficult if they reach the border. Wait till you see what happens over the next couple of weeks. You're going to see a very secure border. You just watch. Just watch. Very secure. And the military is ready. Mr. Trump is not the only one talking tough about the migrants. Republican House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy told North Dakota radio station WZFG that the caravans might be politically motivated. And as U.S. officials engage in talks with Mexico about how to handle the upcoming situation, a second caravan made up of about 2,000 people is also trekking toward the U.S. I'm John Lawrence reporting.